yogis, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie and in this video we are going to explore some of our yin postures using a wall. So position yourself close to a wall that you don't mind putting your legs against. You might also want to grab a cushion or perhaps your bolster if you have one of those just in case. This is going to be the ultimate way to chill out, especially if you've had a day where you've been super busy on your feet. Uh, maybe it's the end of the week and you've uh, had a bit of a hectic one. Uh, wool yin is a lovely practice just to completely chill out and uh, kind of reset and rejuvenate um, for your body and also for your mind. So when you're ready, get yourself set up uh, like I have against to a wall and we'll make a start. So the easiest way to come to lying down against your wall, sit sideways to it with a little bit of a gap between your body and the wall and just lie down. And then for me, I just kind of swivel my legs up the wall. And at the same time, I use a little bit of resistance, lift my bum up and swivel my bum. So we end up with the legs here up against the wall and you want to try and scooch so that your bottom is right up against the wall. And to begin with, just take a little bend in the knees, keep the feet together and we're going to take butterfly here. So we open up the knees creating that diamond shape and you want to let gravity just fall your heels as much as is available for your body. Down the wall. Knees nice and wide, and the hands can do whatever you want them to do. So this is our opening shape. It's where we begin to arrive into our practice. So make any of those kind of little micro adjustments to settle yourself here. And then maybe close your eyes. And just enjoy a nice big deep breath in through the nose. And side away as many of those as you need before you settle, just breathing softly in and out through your nose. And you wanna to start to feel your body relax, your back and the back of the head heavy into the ground. your feet against the wall and the knees just easing open. This kind of uh, yin practice, if you've had a busy day on your feet, because a lot of it is uh, feet above the hips, we're getting all those kind of small benefits that we would get from inverting. And we're also just taking a lot of pressure out of the legs, out of the feet. So just enjoying maybe a few more moments here, letting the breath just expand around your body. And you wanna feel like all the heaviness is falling under gravity. And that is tightness in your body and stress in your mind. Let it just all fall into the ground. Enjoying just another nice deep inhale and slow breath out. bringing the attention back into your legs, just slowly start to slide your legs up the wall until eventually the legs come all the way straight. So if the legs are a little bit tight and you can't quite get the legs straight, feel free to just move your sacrum, your, your bottom away from the wall a little bit. Maybe a gentle little tap into the knees just to release that fist shape. This again is a really easy one that you can come to at any time that you need it. Uh, if you feel like the feet are a little bit achy, 
the legs are a little bit tight, wool caterpillar is a really nice option. So moving into our next pose, you're just gonna start to bend your knees, planting the soles of the feet flat to the wall. At the same time, slightly move your knees out. So we're coming into our wall squat. It'll feel similar to happy baby. And you wanna just slide the feet as far down the wall as is available for you. Knees are wider than the ribs. Arms can rest wherever feels most comfortable. Soles of the feet just connecting to the wall. And we wanna feel this into the hip crease, into the hip socket. This is a really nice way just to create a little bit of warmth in the hips, leading to a little bit of release into the hips. The distance of how wide the feet are is completely up to you. The distance of how deep down the heels are against the wall is completely up to you. And then once you feel like you've hit that point that you can start to let yourself settle, begin to find your stillness in this shape. All of your lower back, up towards the head is on the floor, shoulders are relaxing. And you just have that slight sensation into the hip sockets. Enjoy a nice deep breath in and let it go. Taking your time, slowly just slide your feet once again up the wall, straighten them out. And maybe once they go all the way straight, have a little tap of the knees. A little bit of movement after each posture just kind of makes sure that we're really releasing the energy. So the, the wall squat will have locked the hips so the energy can't flow. So then as we release the legs, your energy is released and you feel that kind of rebound, that whoosh down the legs. So moving on from our yogi squat, we're gonna head into saddle. So this is a lovely wide leg stretch, focusing a little the hamstrings, but into the inner thighs. So once the legs are ready for the next shape, just start to open the feet nice and wide, as far away from each other as you can. And you just wanna kind of give in under gravity here. Nice option, a couple for extra support. Maybe place a cushion underneath your bottom if you feel you need a little extra support under the hips. You can use a strap here as well. You can create a loop with a strap, place it around each an ankle so it supports the fall of the legs open. Uh, if you're pretty tight, I personally just like to kind of give in to gravity when I am practicing against the wall. Uh, but if you feel you need that extra support, grab your strap and just wrap it in a loop around each ankle so it kind of holds the legs from opening too wide. Once you're settled, just start to relax. Find that stillness of the yin practice. Breathe. 
And the great thing about practicing against the wall under gravity like this is that the depth that you can find can sometimes be a little bit uh, more easily accessed than when you do this sitting down purely because of the introduction of gravity uh, in this way. So just let go of your toes and your, your legs. You want to try and surrender to that gravity so that you actually just see what, what arrives in space, the space you can create in your body when you just let go. When you are ready to release the pose, taking your time, perhaps use your hands on the outside of the legs just to help close the feet together back up the wall. And once the feet come back together as we did before, maybe a gentle little wiggle, tap the knees. And to finish, we're actually gonna move into a seated position, just leaning against the wall. We've done quite a lot of lying down. So to close our practice, just bend the knees. And all you're gonna do is take a roll over to one side, easiest way to get up and out. <laughs> Taking your time, move slow. Once you are lying down on the side, just use a hand to come and sit up. Maybe leaving the eyes closed. And you just want to sit with your back against the wall, whatever shape with the legs is most comfortable, maybe even sitting on your, on your cushion once again. Just let the hands rest down on the legs. And just find a moment to be still here at the end of your practice. Come back to feeling supported from the earth beneath you, from the wall at your back. Notice how you now feel in body, mind and breath. Sealing our practice. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. Sitting up, bring the palms together at the heart center. Thank yourself for the time and the energy you've given to your practice. Raising thumbs to the space between our eyebrows, bowing down into each other. Namaste. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, our wall yin practice. Do let me know if you have any questions, drop them in the comment on this video um, and I will certainly try and help where I can. Uh, I hope you're enjoying my videos, guys. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. If you're liking what I do, I'm hoping to keep building this, um, this space, um, offering you guys a whole range of practices that you can enjoy in your own time. If you're looking for something a little more in depth, I also have an online yoga membership, the Calm Strength Collective. You'll find full length 60 minute practices up there. Um, that too is growing. So if you want some more information, check the link in this video um, or feel free to head to my website, KT Silver Yoga. Just put that in your search bar. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Until I see you in the next video, uh, have a good one.